Yeah, um, you know, congratulations to Towson. Um, it's a good football team in year two of that program. Um, uh, you know, to get to seven wins for them, that's a big piece. Uh, it's a big, big thing um, for them. And Coach uh, Shinnick does a great job with that program. Um, and those are the type of programs that we've got to continue to be around so we can continue to put ourselves in those situations. Um, obviously, I'm disappointed in, in the results today. Um, disappointed in um, how we handled ourselves. Uh, I think we've proven over 11 weeks that that's not who we are. Um, it's disappointing when those things come out. Um, however, um, I'm proud of the, the way that our kids played the game as far as throughout the course of the season. I thought they um, continued to fight. Um, and I know today's not indicative of that. Um, but I, I still want to acknowledge what they've done and what they've put on together as a body of work um, as a whole. Um, and we've got to continue to grow as a program so that, um, number one, we don't feel that feeling ever again, that we play meaningful football games in the month of November. Um, and so um, that's what we're going to go to work to continue to be able to go do. What did you tell these guys you know, in their final game here in the locker room this year? What did you tell them after year one? Yeah, I, I told them we don't ever want to feel this feeling again, right? We don't ever want to have this feeling again. Um, every... Um, Everything in life, we make choices and we have results because based off our choices. And, and we didn't make enough and we have not made enough right choices for us to be able to win those fourth, fourth quarter football games, right? Um, and that, those are things that nobody likes to hear. Um, well, you gotta have an answer, you gotta have this. The answer is right in the work every single day. We've gotta do more right things and we've gotta keep stacking those days. And we've gotta have a minority of our guys doing the wrong things. And it's gotta be a really small minority of guys. And then the majority of guys have gotta be able to uh, get them right in those spots. And that the, the peer pressure of program or football um, causes people to make better choices, right? Um, none of those guys in the locker room wanna make a bad choice. Nobody wants to screw up, um, but you gotta, you're a product of your decisions, right? And you're, we're, we are a product of our choices um, and that's life like that's what makes football so great is that it teaches life lessons like if football stops teaching these things if we stop teaching these things in the game of football who's going to teach them these things right um, and I'm, I know I'm kind of getting on a soapbox here but that's why I believe our mission and our calling is such a high one because if we don't do those things who will right um, we've all stumbled and we've fallen um, and we need people to be able to help us, to guide us, to get right back on that path. I've had people in my life that have done that for me. I know Jalen's had people that's done that for him. Um, that's what this program is for our young men. Uh, and we're going to continue to be, be that and we're not going to shy away from that. What did you learn about the team this year um, throughout the year? I know we talked a lot about how these guys are competing and battling yep. each week and yep. play the ridiculous <laughs> schedule. Right. Well, what did you learn about this team and, and what they're about and what fans can expect from them? Yeah, I think the number one thing, you got to be able to fight to win football games and you got to have something about you. Um, and and it's, it's, it's not just a I want to win fight, it's I'm willing to do what it takes to win fight, right? Like those are two different things. Everybody on Saturday uh, wants to win. Like nobody goes out there, puts the uniform on, does all the things and go, Man, I don't know, I'm 50-50 today, right? Everybody wants to win, but who's willing to do it every single day? That's what this guy right here has done. He's the same on Tuesday, he's the same on Wednesday, he's the same on Thursday, he's the same on Friday. And when you coach him, he goes, man, what can I do better in that spot? That's why he is the way he is. That's why he is the record holder. That's why he is that 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 for our football team in that spot. And so I've learned that we have guys that do those things. Now we've got to get more of those guys. We've got to surround our guys that have them with more guys that see it that way and be able to do those things. Um, but I also have learned this is that we're really we're really stinking close here at Campbell. Um, we can compete at a really really high level nationally, and there's not a lot of programs in the nation that can um, viably say those things and after like you said the gauntlet of the schedule that we've been through I think we've proven to ourselves um, but I also think we've proven to our team um, and to everybody else that we can compete here at Campbell and winning in the CA is very very viable for us and we're on the cusp of being able to do that um, it just didn't work out this year in those spots but we see the things we got to improve and we got to get better at. Um, Jalen I know you would you would trade it for um, a, a, a more wins this year, but but what does it mean to you, this place being so special, transferring in and then setting the all-time tackle record? For me, it means everything, you know. Uh, coming from UNC, I never had opportunity, and here I got that opportunity, and whatever the record says, I just love, I just love the opportunity here, and then with the guys and everything like that, our record doesn't show who we are, because we're a bunch of fighters, and yeah, the, some games didn't roll our way, but it is what it is. We gotta keep stacking days, like Coach said, and we gotta keep going. 
from what you have seen, where do you think this program is going? I think we're on the right path, you know. Um, like I said, our record doesn't show it, um, but compared to last season, we've been closer games. Like William Mary's one score game. Uh, like we've been too many one score games, now we just gotta figure out how to win those games. Thank you. What do you think that does for the rest of the team when they see somebody come in like you did and exhibit mm. work ethic and do the right things and do all those things? What do you think that does for the rest of the team and the culture of this program? Uh, I hope to show people, because for me it's just talk is cheap, I kind of think of it. Like talk is cheap. You can say what you're going to do, um, say who you're going to be, but at the end of the day, you got to come in and work. Um, that's when I came in here. I just came in and work and just keep working, 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 you know. Um, once you do that, it will show on the field. So you, when you get on the field, you don't have to do all the talking. Your action will show. People will know who you are. And bringing that in, it will kind of uh, bring it closer to the team. And so guys can keep doing that and be the team we want to be. And let me tell you what it does for a program when you're building a program. The hardest thing when you're building a program is that you got to have young men that know what it takes to win and you got to be able to, ha they got to be visibly doing it, right? Um, I can describe it all day long as a coach. We can have coaches describe what it looks like, but there's nothing like seeing it done, right? And what Jalen does and what Jalen did and is continuing to do for our program is allowing me as a coach to say, man, you want to know what it looks like to be Jalen Brooks? You want to know what it looks like to be the all-time tackle leader in Campbell history? Man, go watch him work. Go watch him work in the classroom. Go watch Watch him work um, in the weight room. Go watch how he takes care of himself. Go watch how he's involved on this campus. He's involved with like the wrestling team and then he goes over and helps them out in spots in those things. And so what it does, it allows me as a coach to say, man, watch this guy. If you don't know what it looks like, because the reality is we're going to recruit young men that don't always know what it looks like. Man, when we have guys like this, man, it allows me to say, watch him. Watch Jalen Brooks because that's the right way to do it. And we, we're going to continue to get more guys just like this guy. And and then all of a sudden you look up and you're like, dang, everybody's doing it in that spot, right? Um, and that's how we're going to go. So for I want to make sure everybody here is like, for, for us as a program, Jalen Brooks is huge because we are able to watch him and it allows guys to be able to show him exactly what it looks like. Um, there ain't no ifs, ands, or buts, or what do you think, or what about this, or what do you mean? Watch him. Watch how he handles himself. And that's the thing you love about Jalen is Jalen thrives on that stuff. He, he wants to be that guy. He's the one that comes in and says, what can I do to get better in those things? And so um, for a program, that's what it takes. The hardest piece when you're building a program is you have to get those guys. Hey, man, um, I'll be completely honest. Uh, congr you know, thanks to, to, to Coach Minner and his staff because Jalen fell in my lap. Uh, I'm not taking any credit for him in those spots. Um, and thankful for the, the young man that he is because he allows us to be able to say, that's what it looks like like in that spot. And I mean, just along those lines, we know how this college game works now, so a lot of guys are transferring back and forth. Yep. Who knows who will be on this roster next year, and, but how do you kind of balance that and trying to get these guys to stay? Like, what is the message to these guys about what you guys are trying to do? Yeah, I told them in the locker room. I mean, I know exactly how we got to go, and we know exactly how what it takes to get there in that spot. Um, so I'm not scared. I'm not concerned. Guys that don't want to be here, they got opportunities and the, the NCAA has made it a way that they can hop from school to school to school to school until they tell them, until they find somebody that tells them what they want to hear, right? Um, that's bigger than me. I'm a FCS football coach in Campbell University, so we can get on that soapbox another day. But if they want to do that, they have those rights to be able to do that. Um, we're going to get guys like this guy that, that Campbell means something to, that is important to, and then we're going to build with those things. And, um, you know, they're going to make choices. Every guy in that locker room has the ability to make their choices, um, just like every coach in that locker room has the ability to make choices, right? Like, that's the thing everybody wants to get. Well, the coach makes the choice. Well, the kids ought to have the choice. Well, they do. And we're going to make sure that we build this program with people that have made the choice that want to be at Campbell, just like myself, just like Jalen, that have made the choice to want to be here in those spots. And we're going to continue to build that in that spot. And so um, the fear of the transfer portal, there is no fear. There's no fear. Um, if, if you don't like what you're getting here at Campbell, that's what the transfer portal is. Go somewhere else in that spot. That's okay. We know what we have to offer and we know where we're going and we have great confidence in how to get there.